Continuing to field questions for U.S. Simile, I have a student from within our Telegram group who's asking, uh, how long should it take to maximize score increase on the NBME exams, and how can you maximize that score increase? Okay, so look, I've made tons of clips on my exam guidance playlist here on the YouTube uh, talking about how to go through the NBME exams. I don't carry the entitlement that you're going to go back through someone's clips in 2022, but uh, I've harped on the fact that for step one, that you're going to be at memorizing. Actually, I'm going to be uh, a quick asshole and tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And give the video a like. I really appreciate it. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now let's get back to the fucking clip here where I said that for step one, I've harped on the fact that I want you memorizing NVMEs 20 through 30. For 2CK, you're going to be going through all the clinical mastery series forms as well as NVMEs 6 through 12 now. Holy shit. They've released form 12. Okay, so as far as how to go through the NBME exams, step one versus step two, and be real clean and concise here, not make this a 46 minute clip. Step one, you're going to finish all of UWorld first. I do not want you doing NBME spaced out over your prep to gauge your progress. You'd be wasting the forms, okay? It's terrible fucking advice, and I've seen that offered a lot. This notion that some students hold on to about they want to gauge their progress. Uh, with NBMEs occasionally. Sometimes a school, their school will say, yeah, do that. Terrible fucking idea, okay? You're going to finish UWorld for step one. You're going to go through NBMEs 20 through 30, okay? You're going to go through my free high yield PDFs. You're going to be going through my audio cue bank here on the YouTube. And I want you going through free 120, okay? So as far as how to go through the NBME exams, look, I mean, I want you going through the offline forms 20 through 24 first. And... We're going to make sure that you screenshot your incorrects from those forms into the front card of an Anki. You're going to have the back card is just the letter of the answer. I don't want you writing explanations. You're not going to have time. And you're going to layer your reviews. So let's say you do NBME 20, you screenshot mm -hmm. all, those, all those incorrects. You go on to NBME 21, you're going to go through all those incorrects. But then you're going to review the ones from 20 as well. And then when you finish, let's say, NBME 23, not only are you going to finish those, but you're going to re-review 20, 21, 22, okay? All those incorrects. You're going to study ahead on the Anki. So I want you layering your review of all those incorrects. If you're not getting many wrong, it's not a big deal. If you're getting 80 wrong per form, yes, you're going to have many hundreds you have to review. You're going to go through all those, all those incorrects from the offline forms. I want you doing free 120 before you go into 25 through 30, and then you're just going to continue to review 25 through 30, okay? There's a lot to talk about. If your scores are really fucking shit, if you're not passing, I don't want you wasting the NBMEs either. If you sit, let's say, offline NBMEs, NBMEs 20, through, 20 and 21, and you're getting 45% correct, you want about two-thirds and above to pass, I don't even want you wasting 22 onward. I want you going back to UWorld. Okay, so you need to review. And if you have, if you finish UWorld, I want you going through the UWorld incorrects. Okay, or sometimes you have some RX to boost your foundation before you go back to the NBME exams. But I want you layering your review of all those NBMEs, as I said. For step two, you're going to finish UWorld. You're going to go through all the clinical mastery series forms. There's 44 forms. Then you're going to go into NBME 6 through 8 offline, free 120, and then 9 through 12. Okay, um, sometimes I have students redo the CMS forms a second time after they sit free 120 for 2CK uh, prior to doing the online forms 9 through 12. As I prefaced with, what am I going to do? Make this a 46-minute clip? I've made lots of prior YouTube clips on this stuff. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.